Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and uh, in this video, I wanted to talk about something that has been um, on my mind for a little bit, and that is retro gaming. Now, with Nintendo, they have maybe the most and biggest uh, catalog of retro games that you could that you at least consider retro games uh, in this time that we live in. <clears throat> they have the Nintendo Entertainment System, the Super Nintendo, the Nintendo 64, and you could even consider GameCube as being part of retro gaming. Also, the Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS. Um, all those systems are, you know, 10 years or older, at least. Or 12 years or older. I think the uh, Nintendo DS was 2004. So, I was thinking about this today and the other day that wouldn't it be totally totally awesome if Nintendo released say along with the Nintendo NX say they released a retro console only um, say for like 99.99 or something like that 100 bucks and this retro console could play all your original Nintendo games Super Nintendo games Nintendo 64 and GameCube, <clears throat> and even the portables, maybe, if, if they could work that out on screen. But say they release that system for 100 bucks. Now, uh, you already have consoles like the Retron 5 that can play uh, emulated versions of the old games. When you put the cartridge in, the, the system will download from the cartridge and make it like an emulation. Now, wouldn't it be cool? If Nintendo released their own retro type of, of console, it's called the the Nintendo Retro, for example, and you plug it in your TV, and you got your NES, you know, controller port, you got your Super NES controller port, you got your N64, you got your GameCube port, you got your memory cards, you got your Rumble packs, all that good stuff, all on one console. So you may be thinking, well, that's what they got the virtual console for, right? So you, so you could just have it all in one system, like on the on the uh, the Wii and the Wii U. You got the Virtual Console. So I was thinking about about that and how convoluted it starts to get after a while when you have like, like the Wii U is probably the most convoluted controller-wise console in the history of Nintendo. You got the Wii U gamepad, you got the Wii U Pro controller, and then you got the Wii controllers that are that work with Wii U games. You got the Wii Remote, you got the Nunchuck, you got the classic controller, and you which is the Wii, and you got the Wii Classic Pro controller. And then you have adapters like for the GameCube that plug into USB on the Wii U to play GameCube uh, with the GameCube controller for Smash Brothers, which is I think that's one of the only games that uses it. And then you know, so you have all these controllers, and it's just, it gets to be such a mess. Why not just put that all onto its own system and leave it at that? And, you know, and you can actually use the original controllers with that re uh, Nintendo Retro system. Not only that, of course, but the Nintendo Retro system would have to come with some kind of controller that could play all those games, of course. Um, <clears throat> now... Another question uh, to think about is visual quality of these old, ancient games like the NES and Super NES, especially the Nintendo 64. Now, the Nintendo 64, uh, if you researched about it, the video output of the N64 was the best you could do on it in North America was S-Video and then Composite, which is really bad by today's standards. So if they released a retro console that could output an HDMI and have all the nice color corrections and add some kind of uh, filtering effects that you could add to it. Um, I think that would really make those retro games a lot more enjoyable and be able to play it from the original cartridges and GameCube disc. I think that would be an excellent idea and easy money for Nintendo. Would you guys buy a console like that? Say they release a retro console that looks something like a Super Nintendo but it has all those ports and all those um, cartridge slots that you can play all those games on that's totally made by Nintendo with that super nice quality that they make. Um, 
I think that would be a great buy for anybody who likes those retro games. It, and the quality that, that Nintendo makes their consoles is unmatched. I mean, they really make, do a really good job with their consoles. And, um, you know, I've played the, the, the Retro 5, I've played these other, uh, uh, you know, consoles that are basically like the hardware but in a different box and they're uh, third party controllers. You know, they don't work the same as what Nintendo originally made. I mean, I did videos on them on this channel uh, of those, what was that, that Circa? Uh, SNES controller, it just doesn't work like the original. It looks just like it, feels like it, but when you play the games, it doesn't work the same. It doesn't feel the same. It doesn't work um, as sharp as basically the originals do. So, it'll be nice if Nintendo did that. Say they released a Nintendo NX at the end of this year, and at, at E3, they also announce a Nintendo Retro console where you can play all your retro games, the original games. And you can also download Virtual Console games to that console. That would be really cool. I think that would be an awesome sell, and I think it would sell very well. And also, it would be—it wouldn't affect the Virtual Console they have now, um, because they can keep doing that, no problem. With the NX, they can have a totally, you know, revamped Virtual Console for all those games you want to play on the NX. So I don't think it's a, a lose situation for Nintendo. I think a retro-fitted console that's specifically made for those these old games that are getting really hard to find, and maybe you want to be able to play them all on your TV, but, but you don't want to have to go buy some kind of third-party hardware, and you don't want to have to play them emulated on your PC. You want to play them like they originally were, and only Nintendo can make a console that does the originals justice. Do you agree with me, guys? Let me know in the comment section. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. Take care.